Looking to make your Twitch or YouTube profile image stand out from the crowd? Check out these 7 tips. They are easy to do and can be done on any device, app, or online tool. Capture people's attention to your profile by making your profile picture pop. Before starting, let's talk about today's sponsor, OwnPro. OwnPro is the ultimate place to get professionally made stream overlays and streaming tools to take your live streaming to the moon. No matter what your niche is, OwnPro got you covered. They have the most extensive and largest collection of a total of 600 plus premium stream overlays, packages, alerts, and more. Another thing, they also have copyright free music to choose from. So, ready to step up your live streaming career and stand out from the crowd, OwnPro may be your place to go. Use the link in the description box below and use the code EMSQ at the checkout to get 50% off when you are ready to upgrade. Back to the video. Make it visible. The first tip will be the easiest. Make your profile image centered. I mean to say, keep the important part in the center and visible to others. If you simply download an image and upload it as your profile picture, it's more likely to have a weird appearance on your profile. It happens because of the aspect ratio. It's easily fixable. And now, most of the apps allow you to choose the important part of your images before uploading them. So, you don't need to worry about the look, as you have predefined the look. To do that, open up any design software you have. I am using Photoshop, but you can apply the same thing in any online tool, mobile. Make a new canvas with 512 pixels for width and 512 pixels for height, then create a circle with the same dimension as your canvas. I am using the shape tool to draw the circle. Make sure it doesn't have any stroke. Only use the fill option. Place the circle in the middle of the canvas. You can easily do that with the alignment tool. Decrease the opacity and place it above the profile image. Now, this circle is the safe area. No matter what device app you upload your image to, it will always look the same. The parts you can see in the circle will also be reflected in the profile picture. Bonus tip, perfect export settings. Always work on a 512 by 512 canvas or 1024 by 1024 canvas because it will keep the one, one ratio image ratio. Also, I highly suggest choosing 2x when exporting the profile image. It will make sure you still have quality when it has been compressed. Add a clear background. The next step is for those people who have downloaded a logo as PNG only without any background. In that case, if you upload the image or logo in the transparent format, in your profile image, it will have the default black or white color in the black. And it is possible your logo will not look good with a plain white or black background. So, make sure you have first put a color fill layer or add your background color, then export the image. By doing that, the background color will remain there, and the profile image will look exactly what you want. Add gradient. Well, this step is optional, but it can give a huge boost in the profile pick tap. Adding a nice gradient color on the background is a nice touch. However, most people may use the default presets of gradient color. But let me show you a cool trick. Create a new layer by clicking the page icon. Then select a brush and keep the hardness value to 0%. Then pick some colors that match your background. Then draw something like this. After that, right click the color layer and choose convert to smart object. Then go to filter and then add a Gaussian blur. Now you can see it has a nice smooth multicolor gradient. As this is a smart object, you can double click the smart icon in the layer and you can change the color or do more stuff here.
when you save the work by pressing Ctrl plus S, get back to the main canvas, and see the changes. At last, to make it more awesome, you can add a noise filter as well. Add ring. This trick is pretty common nowadays, but it is still in case you don't know. Create a new eclipse shape by selecting the eclipse and clicking anywhere on the canvas. Then type the same width and height as your canvas. Then disable the fill and stroke color. Double click the layer to reveal the layer styles. Then add a stroke effect to it. Make sure you have chosen inside. If you choose the other options, some parts maybe get cut in the profile picture. Also, you can add a gradient color to the stroke as well. Go creative with the ring, so your profile stands out from the crowd. Don't use black and white only. A black and white profile image is always a great touch, but you can make your black and white image look more pop. Add a back and white layer by clicking the half circle icon. You can use the clipping mask to only affect the bottom layer. Now select the black and white overlay layer and click the mask icon. If you use the solid back color, then the black and white filter will be removed from the paces you have drawn. And if you use a completely white color brush, then it will again bring the black parts. It's a nice touch to make a certain thing pop. But most of the time, using it to pop your skin tons makes a huge difference. Put your face, not the entire frame. This is mostly happening with the newbies because I have previously made this mistake. Don't try to cover your entire body. For example, this profile image has covered most of the frame. But if I make it smaller than the normal size that we see in our devices, you can barely see what is happening here. But on the other hand, if I only try to cover the important part, I make it small we can still see what's going on here. So, next time, if you have a portrait, try to focus on your face or other important parts only. Don't be forced to put the entire frame. Keep your brand color. Well, the last tip is for the brands out there. Always try to keep your branding consistent. Don't just throw a random color in the background of your logo in your profile image. Try to use your primary color as the background and then add a white or black color overlay with a nice gradient overlay to the icon. This will make it pop and more chances to get the click but if you have a portrait, you can use the background color as your main brand color. So, that's all for today. Let me know if I have missed anything else. To watch my latest video, click the first image and click the second one to watch the video YouTube suggested based on your interest. Catch you in the next one. Peace.